Hello there. The EU is considering the idea of using its Solidarity Fund, which is normally reserved for use after a natural disaster, to help EU 27 member states to deal with any no-deal Brexit fallout. While we await the fallout from John Burko, the Speaker of the House of Commons, just breaking convention a few moments ago to allow this Brexit-busting motion to be debated, I thought I'd bring you some news from the European Union. EU Commission officials are working on a plan that would allow those EU 27 member states that get hit by no-deal Brexit to apply for funds from the bloc's Solidarity Fund. As it says on the EU website, the European Union Solidarity Fund was set up to respond to major natural disasters and express European solidarity to disaster-stricken regions within Europe. The fund was created as a reaction to the severe floods in Central Europe in the summer of 2002. Since then, it has been used for 80 disasters, covering a range of different catastrophic events, including floods, forest fires, earthquakes, storms and drought. 24 different European countries have been supported so far for an amount of over 5 billion euros. So, now Brexit is going to become an epic EU natural disaster. Doesn't this just tell you that the EU never thought we'd actually be going? That they'd blindly believed all the Remainer talk about Brexit being reversed? and that maybe right now the Eurocrats are losing just a little bit of their faith in our Remainer MPs being able to keep us in the EU. Now, to make this fund work this way, the EU will have to amend the very detailed rules within the Council regulation that set it up in 2002. And that would require the agreement of EU member states and the EU Parliament. And one wonders if it would need unanimity as opposed to qualified majority voting in the EU Council to achieve it. Now, if unanimity is required and they want to get it in place before Brexit, they might just need our vote. Interesting conundrum for them. Especially as the BBC reports that funding applications under the scheme have to be approved by EU states and the European Parliament and can often take months to be paid out. And it does involve EU finances, which the EU Council website says requires unanimity. Anyway, the end result is that the total net EU contributing nations like Germany will probably end up paying more in so as to replenish the funds when required. And the net receiving nations will probably receive a bit less, unless they can prove they have been affected by Brexit, of course. But one question I have is... While all this is going on, how would the EU actually cope with a real natural disaster? Anyway, judging by the antics of Remainer MPs thus far today, I think the Eurocrats can rest easy that the majority of our MPs are on the side of the EU and not on the side of the UK. And one of those MPs even crossed the floor from the Tories to the Lib Dems today while the PM Boris Johnson was in mid-flow of a speech. Dr Philip Lee decided to go and sit beside the Lib Dem leader Joe Swinson after issuing a letter saying he'd had enough of the Tories. But I don't think much of his chance is in any future election though. Because as a Tory he got 32,882 votes in 2017, with Labour in second place with 16,886, and the Lib Dems got a paltry 4,186 votes. And funny old thing, Nigel Farage is already on the case there, with the Brexit party already having a candidate lined up for the Bracknell constituency, David Winsper. Anyway, what do you think? Please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video. And also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing... Please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.